uh, good afternoon YouTube family Martinez country home here uh, guys so earlier today like I was telling y'all I had shot a couple of videos and <clears throat> uh, I, I end up losing them uh, so I end up shooting one of them again uh, it was a little bit shorter than the original one uh, so I was just gonna continue on where I had left off uh, the stuff that I hadn't gotten a chance to catch up with uh, one of the things guys that I had that I had mentioned on the other uh, earlier uh, was was inflation um, so right now we're like I've said before some states are seeing um, some things some states are seeing uh, things with the health crisis as far as mandates uh, uh, whatever you want to call them rules uh, edicts whatever um, they're going they're a little bit harder in some states than in others uh, especially like like in California New York um, in Oregon uh, some of the like I guess the very blue the, the what you call blue states now I'm not I'm not saying that um, conservative states don't have their their mandates or whatever uh, it's usually the the inner cities the big the big cities that are gonna uh, be having um, very tight uh, mandates stuff like that regarding the health crisis so also with with that regard the same in the same way that some states are are, are a little bit more strict with the with the mandates and things like that uh so so it goes with with the interest i mean i'm sorry with the interest <laughs> with the so it goes with the with the inflation uh like i've said before here in texas we don't we haven't really seen um we're seeing inflation but from some of some of the videos that i've seen from other people some of the comments uh from my subs and from other subs uh in their states inflation is, is very bad it's pretty bad um now one of the things that one of my subs had had mentioned and i hadn't really thought about it um was that another way they've been hiding inflation um is by using the metric system for their for their weights and measures you know what i mean like instead of using uh in weight instead of using ounces and pounds and things like that they've they've been using like They've been using the metric system they've been using um like liters for instead of gallons and half gallons uh quarts they're not using the the standard system that we use here in america um they really started to use the metric system and i and i believe uh, and i agree with that with my sub that um they're using that to to cover up the inflation uh because you know like one liter um you know the the metric system is not gonna be you're not gonna get a gallon when you go to the met when you use the metric system uh, it's just less okay um, and most of the inflation that being said most of the inflation that I'm seeing is in packaged products um, we had we had noticed that my son had brought up the fact that the the hash browns uh, some of the hash browns they were a lot thinner like after you're, you're cooking them up um they're just they're flatter you know they're just lighter you can tell they're i don't know what they're using to, to i don't know if they're maybe soaking them in water the patties or whatever but <clears throat> um they're a lot smaller uh by the time you fry them uh they're a lot smaller they've lost a lot of their their size um anything that's packaged guys uh, chips and I and I know I've said this before um, frozen frozen products stuff like that they're very high in price I mean they've they've, they've gone up uh, for the most part I haven't seen many canned goods go up in price uh, I did see one of the uh, one of the Walmart uh, sells a roast beef that I like to get a canned roast beef and theirs went up from 274 all the way to 312 for like 12 ounces 
um, and I, I'm pretty sure a lot of that is gonna be the liquid that is in but that's what the, 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 the weight on the can is now this weekend I did notice that our local grocery store HEB the small I believe it's six the six ounce can I might be wrong uh, the six ounce can the, the smaller can of tuna uh, went from 82 cents to 84 cents so um, I'm starting to see you know even that grocery store which has been pretty good about keeping the prices down uh, even they're starting to the, the prices are starting to go up um, I know one of the things that one of the bad things about when you're when you're trying to warn people about things uh, like I keep telling people that you know keep stocking up and don't stop you know just just don't stop um, what happens is I guess they get desensitized to hearing it um, and they they don't I guess they don't see you know they they don't see how things have progressively gotten worse right uh, so somebody like a prepper or somebody like most of y'all that are watching these videos y'all have been seeing how America how the world really has progressively gotten worse right very gradual uh, some things more gradual than others um, it hasn't really been in your face changes right but you know if, if, if you've been awake if you, if you had if you if you have any kind of awareness you know that ever since 9 11 things really got bad that was a, a very big a big jump in the tyranny right uh, all in the name of security uh, I'm not gonna get into that how they did that we all know that they used uh, people's safety uh, to, to take away our, a lot of our rights uh, and and even then uh, it was mainly privacy, right? Uh, privacy, um, uh, like at the airports, uh, with the TSA, um, you know, reading reading emails and um, the phone calls with the fusion centers and all that stuff. Um, a lot of things happened after 9/11 that gave them basically like open season on 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 spying on people. The world, the, the situation with the world is it really is getting worse. Um, it, it's so gradual that a lot of people have, they're basically been low to sleep. And, and, and even like myself, I find it very hard to believe that a dystopic, tyrannical, some, some kind of like something that you would see on TV, I, I would find that very hard to believe that it could happen here. Um, but the thing is, is that, you know, if you step back, you see that it's happening right now. Uh, like in Australia, in Austria, um, in Canada, in the UK, a lot of things are going on right now um, where the they're really the state really has their their boot on the people's neck now at least over there um, a lot of people are, are standing up and they're protesting and and they're they're making themselves heard um, they're not going down easy but the thing is is that it's the system it, it's almost it, it, it's almost like there's not really any one person in control um, the system has taken a life of its own. Um, excuse me. Here in America, even our our you know the economy, as compared to other places in the world, even though we know that the little details that 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 the basis of our economy, right, of, of our money, uh, we know it's all it's all it's all bogus. Um, money's printed by the central bank, by the Federal Reserve, 
and it, it's just that it's not really money but the thing is is that it's still it's still used as a mean, means of exchange and so people people don't really understand the what what's going on uh, they don't know that it's just debt and because the corporations have been given rights as a person right they've been given rights so the 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 financial health of those corporations and their and their board of directors or whatever their investors it it takes their profits take precedence over our rights and um besides the fact that everything's corrupt the whole system is corrupt and it's just so hard to wake people up uh make them understand to you know help them understand what's going on i've i've spoken to people uh i know how hard it is i've spoken to people uh even trying to talk to them in in a calm manner trying to be logical and and trying to show them um you know trying to send them links to some uh, a legitimate source where they can get real information uh they just they don't really want to do it uh they 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 just don't want to do it uh they don't really they don't want to hear it and um so it's making it very hard because there's so many of them it's it's almost like like a like collapsing like a collapsing star the 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 mass it just it just pulls you in and <clears throat> the whole apparatus right the 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 powers that be they have the media which controls the information they have the military um they have the the enforcement of laws they run all that they even set up they even took over our 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 system of commerce of the way we do commerce you know the maritime with maritime admiralty law it's they took over the natural world and and put in their artificial world and um it's very dystopic guys very dystopic and I guess my point the point that I'm trying to make is that a lot of people feel like it cannot happen um earlier I saw a video by um Pinball Preparedness Pinball was make he came out with a list of uh that I guess something like the 10 steps of genocide and I'll put it on in the description um and you know if if again if you step back and you look at this list i mean there's like six or seven things that have already that are already happening right but they've been so subtle and it's been over such a long space of time that uh people just got i guess they got used to it 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 wasn't like all at once and uh but i think that's very concerning it's very it's i don't i don't like to use the word scary you know i don't like using that word because fear is what fear is a very bad thing because it makes people it doesn't let people think clearly it doesn't let them think critically uh it makes people panic it makes people do things that they otherwise wouldn't have done but it's very concerning i'll i'll use that word that if you look at all these things that are happening on the on this list um they actually and in some parts of the world they i mean they're it, they have they've happened already they're they've happened or they're happening um and you know what what the thing is guys is that all the all the all the the bullet points right all the the list of things that can make that would make a genocide possible or some kind of 
tyrannical evil takeover of the world uh, those the, the base has been laid out already it's been planned and all the steps have been they, they, they have all their ducks lined up in a row and they're just going one by one even even here in America um, there's there's a lot of people dying uh, a lot of people getting very sick um, besides the fact besides the health crisis that's been going on for a couple of years going on two years already um, there's also been um, a lot of deaths and a lot of very serious injuries because of you know I don't know I mean you know what I'm trying to say and yet still people are doing the same thing they're they're still not they're not stepping back and saying whoa you know wait a minute um, maybe I should really look at this uh, a little bit more closely and now there is a lot more people that are aware um, of what's going on uh, I'm not sure if I mentioned this in the other video but the parallels between now what's going on now and what happened in 20, uh, 2020 in March of 2020 there's so many different there's so many similar parallels uh, but the one thing that's different is that there's a lot more people that are that are aware and are awake uh, as to what's going on a lot more people are speaking out and a lot more people are just not going along with with what the powers that be want uh, they're not going along with it they're speaking out um, at the same time there's too many people that are going along with it um, as long as the media is controlled by by these corporations and these elite elitists uh, it'll be you know it will be very hard to wake up the typical average person because they watch that media like all the time that's that that is where they get their news if they don't if they don't if they don't hear it from them that there's something wrong or you know they, they need to speak out or they, they they're waiting they're, they get their cue from the media and there's just too many people that are like that no matter how much you try to show them um, you know you know this so <clears throat> you know there's a I'll, I'll, I'll use the, the, the ruling class, right? The ruling class, when they send their kids to school, um, they, send, they send their kids, their education is for their kids to be leaders. That's the education they get. They make connections, they, make, they, they, they uh, work on their, on their contacts, on, um, on the people that they're gonna meet. And these are all people that are like in high positions of in government, in uh, in business, stuff like that, in banking, uh, we have to educate our kids in the same way. Uh, we have to educate our kids in, in in what's really going on. Even though, you know, people might a lot of people might you know I've heard people say, well, you know, I don't want I don't want to discourage them or I don't want to, um, you know, I want to be more positive, you know. You're just you're not doing them any favors by lying to them or telling them that the world is another a one way just because you don't want to hurt their feelings or you don't want to you know di damage them psychologically or something you know uh, where you gotta realize that you're raising a, you're raising adults you're not you're not raising a child you're raising an adult you're you're, you're training your 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 child right you're you're training them you're teaching them how to be an adult. Uh, you know you gotta lead by example so we're in very tough time guys uh, like I said here in Texas things look I'm not gonna say they look great 
Um, there's a lot of stuff. I mean, there's a lot of things. Uh, food prices are very high. Um, gasoline is holding steady. It, it's been pretty low. I'm thinking maybe because Texas is uh, such a high producer of, 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 of oil. Uh, maybe that's why we're being spared uh, a lot of the economic damage that's happening in the rest of the country. We do produce a lot of oil. Um, but I, I don't know that for sure. Uh, a lot of people pay attention to the stock market, but you know, the stock market, like I said, it, that, that doesn't mean anything. Uh, the stock market's basically, uh, it, it, all the corporations are just, a lot of the corporations are just buying their own stock. Uh, there's very little, uh, the volume is not there to support all that money that's in there. It's just, it's a casino. Uh, the thing that people got to be paying attention to is the, the bond market uh, because the bond market, you know, to put it simply, it's, it's the cost of money. Uh, it's the cost of money and, you know, if the bond market goes through some kind of, uh, if it falls or the, the bonds, you know, they, they, they go up in price too high. I mean, the, the yield, uh, what what... What a person, what an investor will get in return for those for buying those bonds if they go too high, uh, they won't be able. To, people will not be able to get their money. Uh, they'll default, and so that's what will really set off everything. Is the bond market? So people got to pay attention to the bond market, uh, in particular the the ten year yield, uh, that and some other factors. But basically, price of oil uh, and the ten year yield. Uh, are very important and when you want to really know what's going on the health of, of, of the economy um, and of course we're, it, it's, it's global uh, the economies of the world are pretty much connected together so uh, right now the whole world is in debt right to who I don't know I mean that's kind of crazy if you think about it you know that debt's so high uh, who do we? Who do? Who do the people of this world owe the money to? You know, uh, a lot of people throw around names like the Rothschilds and the Rockefellers, but those are to me, guys. Even them, uh, as as much money as they have, the Gettys, uh, even them, uh, I think they're just really just the the surface. Uh, they're just the tip of the iceberg. They, I think they're just the face put there. Uh, there's other families that people have never, have never even heard of. Those are the ones that really run the world. Um, but anyway, guys. I don't think that people realize how close we are. That the possibility that things can get very ugly here. Uh, not just here, but around the world. Um, one thing I will say is I hope people are paying attention with this digital currency that they're talking about, and a lot of countries are talking about it. I mean, it's 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 been talked about for years. I've been hearing chatter in the background for many years already, um, but this year it started picking up the conversation. But if they take away our means of exchange, guys, um, it's it. That's over. Um, if they can control our money like that, like in a, like say in a debit card and, and, and they're in control of, you know, our money, uh, these digital, these just their digits on a computer screen uh, and they can with like keep us from having our money, like, you know what, you're cut off, um, you didn't satisfy some, some protocol they want or some, some procedure or you spoke out uh, when you weren't supposed to 